Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. An exciting day today. If you've been following me, my new Yolio frame has arrived. Let's get unboxing. Okay, so before we start, uh, first ever, I've been charged import duty for uh, a Yolio product. I've never been charged import duty before. £24.56. Um, as we look over the box, it's not too bad, but we do have the same problem. The Dralia hanger is sticking out through the box and uh, has sustained some damage there. There we go. So that goes around there. I'm very excited to uh, have a look in here. Oh, so there's lots of things in this box for me. Yep. So this is the rim. As you can see, unlike um, Cycling Milan's channel, he had damage to the side of his, but we can clearly see down the side there's lots of room in between mine so we'll yoink it out and have a look so out it comes oh i can see that paint that paint job already um a little sneak peek at the paint job there oh my god um anyway let's get this unpackaged Oh my god. Okay, so let's have a little look in closer detail. And that is really clean in there, you could like so smooth it's ridiculous so we've got see how the paint changes we've got purple here into blue it's a really high gloss reflective uh, glitter as you can see um, going up the tube here we've got a nice silver yolio into the we put the fork area it's nice and thick um, obviously it's all internal Cabling, we've got the Kairos House name, which they kindly put in for me. Coming up to uh, the seat post. Nice shape there will come down. Uh, looks like that bolt has been rounded off. I'll have to contact um, Yoli about that. We'll go up here, we've got the R9 into the uh, Dralia hanger here. Here is the damage. So, and that has got a nasty burr on it as well, just there. And fortunately, it comes with a spare in the box, but I will ask for another one as well. Coming up. And we'll just spin it over so you can have a look at the other side. Then we'll have a look at the features. There's something different about this frame. So, Coming over to the rear, uh, we've got the, that's where the brake calipers go, but they've got like a cap on. Perhaps that's part of the process. I'll just have to uh, get through those. Yeah, they're just like, like uh, yeah, you can push through them quite easily. So that's left over from the manufacturing process. Um, up, we haven't got a car house on this side, just one side. That just looks like a little mark there, yep polished off quite easily and that one down on the other side there's a nice overall view I've got the scales out ready but we're gonna have a look at some features that this R9 is not the same as what's on their website Um, this looks different the seat post is different because it should have a bolt on this side if I turn it over the bolt should be here it isn't the seat post shape is different and I'll show you that in a moment. And 
it's got the DR2 junction box on the down tube there and that isn't how it should be so I'm thinking this might be a new shape of frame for the R9 this is the frame on their website you can see here where I was talking about the seat clamp bolt it's not on the side on this frame it's actually uh, in the top just in front of the seat post and um, as you'll see later on in this video the seat post is completely different I also believe that this area is different the way that these are angled also DR2 junction box I can't see it in any pictures of it being there the handlebars are different the spaces are different on my handlebars I don't have these two outside bolts I only have the center two you'll see that coming also this area is different and I've actually got two more holes here one here and one here so these handlebars are not the same the frame is not the same and the so here you can see the R9 and um, it looks like when it was first released the, the tube was just about as wide as the cage bolt. bolts and there's no DI2 junction box hole there so I'm just wondering if this is a new shape frame that they've brought out but it's not on their website yet which is a bit confusing okay so we're back with the scales um, did you see how different the frame shape is very strange okay so if in doubt use a pyrex dish as you can see we've got it zeroed we're going to put the frame in try and balance it in there of course on the camera i can't do it a minute ago i did it there we go we'll let it balance out it is one two five seven grams okay here's a rear view of uh the stays coming down obviously we've got the uh, where the cable comes out there oh we've got a little hole there for the di2 wire and obviously the bottle cage holes there and there i'm well happy that that junction box is there to be honest and underneath we've got a route for um, mechanical or you can route route round your hydraulic cable I would think past the yeah it's probably a hydraulic I didn't notice that before wow interesting okay well we'll see when we come to thread it in where everything's going to go okay let's get looking at the other stuff okay it's seat post time and you can clearly see that that is nothing like the one on the website it's got kind of a weird profile and we've got a maximum torque of six newton meters it's obviously for steel rails or uh, chromoly rails it's not carbon rail set up i can't see any in the pieces either for carbon rails i don't have carbon rail so i won't miss it let's just give the seat post away it's zeroed out and seat post weighs Two, one, four. Two. Let's just bring in these um, axles. We have 125 mil. Okay, it's an M12. Actually, pretty cool. 10 newton meters. That one weighs in at 31 grams, and the rear one is a 165 mil M12. Okay. And that weighs in at 39 grams. So, the so these are the forks. They actually came in a bag with R11 written on them. So I'll need to contact um, the earlier and just check that those are the right forks. So we have a cable outlet there for the calipers. And we also have, oh, this is quite interesting. We've got a hole in the fork here where the cable goes in, travels through the fork, comes out to the calipers. So it's all internal cabling. We've got a QC pass sticker on there. 
the paint looks pristine the steerer tube looks awesome obviously you can't see down there but i can and i can tell you it's smooth as ice in there okay um it's obviously quite long let's weigh the forks while we're here so we've got ooh, we've got zero there we'll put the forks on without trying to break them and the forks weigh in at 403 grams now one thing i have noticed with these forks which i'll have to contact Yolio about is that's obviously the inside so it's going to get roughed up but what I have noticed is I'm missing the screw threads from the end of the fork which is a little bit disappointing but that is life and we will get one of those sent over so that's the forks it's actually really cool to be honest okay on to the handlebars so we've got a 40 wide and a 120 stem sorry i'm mixing up measurements there it will be a 40 centimeter wide bar and a 12 centimeter stem or a 400 mil wide bar and 120 mil stem can't mix up my measurements apologize there so we've got yolio written on the front of the bar there let's weigh them up so we've got zero and the handlebars weigh three eight six as you can see we've got uh, holes there for the computer mount which i can't see at the moment in my spares so we've got uh, the routing channels here uh, it looks like we've got a bit of yeah it's just telling you look 120 by 400 which is perfect we'll come around here uh, we've got this the clamping area here Ooh, a little bit of a defect on the side there nothing too special not worried about that they actually feel very sturdy oh what is this there's something in my bars on this side oh it's stopped rattling now there it is there's something in there let me have a look off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've had a look in here and um, it looks like you can just see it around uh, the bend there, right? It looks like a tube plastic straw is the only way I can describe it. Kind of like uh, tons of sellotape or something. I don't know what it is, but it's rattling. I'm sure I'll be able to get it out. Apart from that, those bars look sweet. Um, I'm probably going to have the same issues as uh, Oz Cycles in the fact that this doesn't look easy to thread hydraulic cables through it. Um, so that will be quite interesting for me. Also, I've checked there's no computer mount um, in the spares, so I have to get a hold of the earlier for that. It seems it seems that i've had all the problems in one bike um because you don't normally get this from yolio and that's not me um that's not me trying to be you know trying to be pc but usually I, i've had no problems for yolio but for some reason we seem to have all the problems at once with this so moving on to the parts one at a time so we have the battery holder for the seat post i've checked that fits so that is fine. We have the compression plug. Um, as our cycles did, I've ordered my own longer one because that doesn't look as though it's long enough to me. So we shall see. And um, we have the steerer sleeve. So that goes over the steerer tube and inside the bar just to give it some extra rigidity. That is very good. We have uh, stem spacers metal um, and they've got um, you can see there's bits sticking up there and they lock together so that they're all cool like so could be a 10 and a 5 there 
We've got a spare really derailleur hanger, which I'll be putting on and asking for another one because I'm using my spare because the other one got damaged in transit. We have the um, bearings for the headset. It is a P1652 times 7 times 45 degrees. Okay, and they are they look to be exactly the same. So two of those. Oh, there's the number. Look, it's just uh, stamped in a different way. Okay, so that's the size. We have a seat post clamp. Pretty simple design. Wonderful. We have a, a top cover with a cutout, so you can put in your DI2 mechanical or hydraulic cables through the front of the steerer there. Wonderful. We have a bearing uh, race for the forks. And we have three bits. Uh, one of those, a blank, a very flat blank there, as I drop it on the floor, and a metal insert. This looks like aluminium. Um, a little insert there. We've also got, I'm not sure why, we've got a, looks like a cover for the uh, seat post, but it won't fit this frame because that and that don't match. Okay? That profile and that profile are not the same. In fact, it doesn't go in. It's a bit squidgy. So um, I think that is a mistake. They've sent me the something I can't use. Very unusual, as I said. So that's an overall look at the bike. Yeah, the seat post is really different to what's on the website. So is this area. That is, not, is completely different. And also the junction box there. Um, as I said, I'll have to check if the R11 forks are for the R9 bike. So that is the unboxing of the new R9, I'm going to say. Prototype R9, I don't know what it is. So. I'll get back to you on those pieces. I'll make a new video. Um, I'm going to contact uh, Jasmine now and just uh, see if I can get those extra pieces brought over. So we want a derailleur hanger. We want a new screw for there because it looks like it's rounded. Uh, we want the threads for the front forks. Oh uh, yeah, I have to ask about that handlebar. What's in the handlebar? How to get it out? So. We'll see you on the next Coros House. Take care. This project is going to be mint. Bye. Bye.